Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Mama Ikhman Zahdimin Ayub. My name is Putri Nur Aina binti Zulkarnain. My name is Nurul Shaza binti Azmi. My name is Nur Ina Fakia binti Jasna. My name is Mama Ansri bin Mashafa. My name is Muhammad Irfan bin Muhammad Hisham. So, today I'm going to talk about the definition of election. Election can be defined as acceptation or choice which is made by a person that have the right of selecting one of two alternative rights or contracts. This election process involves act of selecting someone or something casting votes to select the winner of the position and can be held in many settings and anywhere. Functions of election. Election means to render the government accountable to the government. By this election, it will choose for those who will guide and direct affairs of the government. Thus, this election also provides political education for citizens and also ensure the responsiveness of the democratic government. Now, I want to present the theory of franchise. Next uh, is, under the theory of franchise, there are two prominent schools of thought of or theory, which is universal franchise or limited franchise. First of all, in universal franchise, in the 18th century, this school arose when the doctrine of natural right, man's freedom, and common right sovereignty was very political thinker favorite theme. The idea of this theory is ultimately authority prevail in the individual, and that was the right thing, the vote, and involvement of every citizen in the determination of government strategy. Next, democracy, positivity, equality of men and political equality could be ensured when the right to vote was extended to all people and eventually it was necessary for all to have the right or her opinion count in the final decision of public decision in order to safeguard and represent the interest of all elements of the population. Okay, and last but not least, secondly, is limited franchise. This school was led by Blanchley, Lucky J. S. Mills, and Sir Henry Main, which is again the idea of universal franchise. The idea in this story is, in this theory is, is proposed that the right to vote should not be exercised or by a resident of the state. Next, there was no intrinsic right of a person to franchise. So, I would say after I read and understand, the responsibility of people is the factor affecting the voters. Law does not mandate electors, but voting is an important component of democracy. People vote for politicians to represent them and their opinion. And politicians also need to consider citizen wishes. So, uh, there are seven there are seven factors that uh, influence voters. Okay, firstly is sociological factors. Second is demographic factors. Third is uh, religion and ethnic background. Fourth is social class. Five, the candidate. Six, uh, psychological factors. And lastly, uh, mass media factors. Now, uh, I want to discuss about the electoral system. Okay, uh, it is a set of rules uh, for conducting an election. Okay, uh, it is include uh, rule uh, relating administration uh, of election, uh, method of casting, the vote and parties or candidate taking part uh, in election. Okay, now uh, we talk about the single uh, member district plurality uh, system. Okay, it is based on territory. Uh, majority system usually uh, according to which candidate uh, get the majority vote in election. Okay, 
uh, there are two options that use in the in the system. First is uh, candidate obtain fifty percent uh, in elected, and also simple majority uh, or plurality. Next, uh, about the proportional uh, representation system. Okay, it uh, designed to allocate uh, seat in proportional uh, to vote. Okay, in other words. Uh, the system uh, is a family of electoral system uh, where the seat votes uh, for each candidate or political party. Okay, it also to uh, have two basic types. Uh, it is first partly system, and second is single transferable system. A eh, single transferable vote. Okay, uh, now we talk about the partly. Okay. All political, part, all political parties um, ask to draw a uh, name list uh, of candidate. Okay, the voter only need uh, to choose the party of his choice to show uh, preference among candidate of party. Okay, next about the single transferable vote. Okay, the system allow the elect uh, allow the election of representative by general ticket and each vote uh, has only one effective vote okay only first preference is count and candidate getting required uh, quota is declared winner all right i would like to explain about the malaysian election commission this institution was firstly formed on 4 september 1947 through article 113 and 114 of the constitution of the federation of malaya it provided for the appointment of a chairman and three members. In 1981, Article 114 of the Federal Constitution was amended to provide for the appointment of a deputy chairman. For the formation of election commission, in Article 114 Clause 1, the commission should be constituted by the King, YDPA, after consulting the Conference of Rulers. The King act upon the advice of the Prime Minister, this implies the relation between the commission and the sitting government that led that lead to the question on the commission's independence. As for the member of the election commission, members are appointed through Article 114, Clause 2, three principal members, which is Chairman, Deputy, Chairman, five other members, and for the term of service, Members should hold office until they reach the age of 66. They may resign by writing to the king. They may not re be removed from the, their office, but they may be removed under conditions similar in manner to remove a judge of the federal of or high courts. In addition, there is some of requirement that related to the principal members. They can be removed by the king if they fit in one of these methods. First one is and are the charge bankrupt. Second, engage in any paid office or employment outside the duties of his office. The third one is a member either House of Parliament or the Legislative Assembly of a state. The fourth one is either his or her behavior in appropriate office. office. The last one is unable to discharge their duties due to the state of their health or mental condition. As we can see, the functions of commission are stated in various sections on Article 113-2120 and also in the 13th Schedule of Federal Constitution. There are four main functions of commission. Firstly, conduct the election. Secondly, prepare and revise the electoral rule. Thirdly, review the division of federal and state constituencies. The last one is makes rule. Even if there is a lot of benefits of this uh, election commission, but there is some of weaknesses committed by the election itself, and some of weaknesses are as follows. Firstly, non updated of the electoral rules. Secondly, slow and late verification of registered voters. Thirdly, inadequacy of fully manpower and facilities. Fourthly, inadequacy of fully center geographical indicators such as route 
and road map crossing causes of recounting votes